Hmm, what to call it? Ah, ha, ha, the drip. A wettish tale from source to sea, told in five minutes by this pencil, these paints and this hand. High on the misty moors the drip drops, into the drips that dropped before. Chuckling and gurgling as they overflow, funnelled into water catchments, tumbling from page to page, now blending with the salt waters of the estuaries and the sea beyond. The five sextillion atoms that made up our drip, long gone their separate way. Some, reforming into fogs and clouds, drawn in and once again, rain down upon the misty moors again. And so the water cycle flows round and round, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, transpiration, perspiration, me, covering 75% of the earth's surface, how life began and why it all goes on. Down in the estuary muds, an amazing process is at work. All the debris the rivers bring down is decomposed by zillions of microscopic bacterial life forms, so many you could fit a mere seven billion of them into this little egg cup alone. That's the whole population of the earth. A delicious compost heap, sustaining a rich panoply of life in the toing and flowing of the tides. It's really a bit like our own digestive systems and all animals and all our towns and houses. As we kill all known germs, remove those stubborn stains, wash even whiter than white, polish our plug holes and our lug holes, flush stupid stuff down our loos and outside drains. Let's take a swim down the sewers. <laughs> we resurface at last down at the treatment works. First off, great gobbets of pointless ghastliness have to be hoiked out. Then all our kitchen waste, stuff from bathrooms, factories, shops, everywhere, gets gobbled up by more munching bacteria. And so it goes on, sifting, sorting, till good enough to send back into the cycle. But we can all be a bit excessive now and then, and like the water, we can get overloaded too. All our towns and villages, their thousands of miles of roofs and archaic guttering, our tarmac world, roads, ring roads, bypasses and drains, unnecessarily overload the networks. And now more and more extreme weather means the arteries start to clog, rushing down, building up and bursting. All our guilty secrets rejoining us down on the beach often over-fertilising the waters, causing deadly algal blooms. Oh, golly, and then there's this. It's, it's only been around about 70 years, a mere two or three grannies in the scheme of things. It's quite brilliant stuff, really, but now haunting us wherever we go, from Totnes to Tahiti, joining its poor manufacturers in their tropical paradise, partying in raves the size of France on faraway, once pristine oceans, two and a half million bottles every hour, enough wet wipes in a week to make a 20-mile-wide Duvet over Dartmouth, light as no, 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 enough already. Besides, I can't talk, might not look much, but multiplied by 27 million households in the UK alone. Let's be positive. History's full of awful things we once did we wouldn't dream of doing now. We learn from one another, change die-hard habits, try cleaner technologies, pressure big business, tell politicians to switch their hearing aids on for heaven's sake. Together we can all become heroes. Farmers cutting down on chemicals, restoring wetlands, reducing flow and flooding. Fishermen, gardeners, recyclers, surfers. Together we're learning. Water keeps us all alive and healthy, as all the while the drips drop, and the wondrous water that connects us all flows round and round. The End <laughs> oh, That's 
not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. Roll a few credits. La da 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 bum 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 bum. I'm going to tidy up a bit. Oh no, to recycle all this rubbish. But where to start? Blimey.